Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Hi, everybody, and thanks for stopping by the channel. My name is Rich Charpentier, and if you're new to the channel, I really appreciate you stopping by. If you enjoy this video, make sure to go down and get a, give me a like or a subscribe, um, and you'll be able to stay up to date with what's going on here. So recently, we've been talking about working from the road and earning a living while you're a full-time RVer. And it is completely possible. Um, this week I picked up a new client and I'm working with other clients um, from Wisconsin to Arizona right now. So it is completely and totally possible. And one of the big ways, um, one of the big things I've seen with a lot of RVers who are still working full-time is a lot of them are in the tech industry. And it doesn't take much to be able to work from your RV, in my case, a 25-foot Airstream. So what do you really need if you're in the tech industry for, um, for equipment? You're going to need a high-speed internet connection. So you're going to need a mobile hotspot for the times that you're not at a campground that has great Wi-Fi. So today's mobile phones um, can function as mobile hotspots with every single carrier out there so that's a pretty easily covered um, item second thing you're going to need is most likely a computer so you can do a desktop or a laptop if you're trying to conserve on space it's probably going to be a laptop like right here in front of me i've got my macbook pro with me right now and it's so much more convenient for traveling around um, I recently did pick up a new iMac for video editing, and I gotta say, it was a mistake. I, um, I was trying to be cheap, and so I decided I'll go for a desktop because it was a little cheaper than a laptop, and um, it's inconvenient. It really is inconvenient. It would be much easier to have uh, you know a newer MacBook Pro than using that iMac. So there's the two things you really need for mobile tech work you need some kind of computer and you need a network connection and that's about it um, so over the years i've met RVers who are in the tech industry one person um, that we met a couple years ago uh, he's a software developer uh, he owns his own company he has multiple clients and so he's got a client base that really doesn't care where he is um, he can be anywhere so long as he's got internet, phone, and a computer to work on. That's it. That's all the equipment gear you need. Now, if you want to start getting fancier with things and um, you're doing work like I do, so I do website design, I do um, drone work, so flying drones, um, I do search engine optimization, and I do a lot of photography and now a lot of video. Um, with those items, I, I'm going to need a little more, and we're going to talk about that in another episode, what it takes um, for doing a vlog um, while being a full-timer. You know, what equipment do you really need? What equipment do you not need? So there you go. Um, I've also met over the years, I've met uh, two different white hat hackers now, people who actually um, are paid to try to break corporate systems. Um, one works for an insurance company, and I'm not sure what the other one does if they're independent or they work for somebody specifically. But it's very easy, actually, to do remote work these days, especially if you're in the IT industry. Um, in a previous video, I had talked about the fact that I used to work for Sprint PCS and AT&T Wireless, and the bulk of my job as a network design engineer and then as a network operations manager um, the bulk of my job could be executed from anywhere. I could break open my laptop, I could hook into the telecommunication switch I was working on, and I could do the work that I needed to remotely. I did not have to be physically in the building. So I look back at that, and that was, you know, 1996 was when I first started connecting remotely to a telecommunication switch, a Lucent switch. Um, so could I still do that job today? Yes, I could. Um, for especially for the network engineering side, I could absolutely do the job remotely unless I needed to physically touch a piece of equipment. So more and more, there are opportunities in the tech world for, for doing work on the road. Oh, I forgot another one. Another couple that we met last year, husband and wife team on the road, 
and the husband was a programmer and the wife actually worked for a corporate support desk. So in her case, she needed good telephone connection and she needed good internet connection um, and her laptop. And that's all it took. So it didn't matter when you call into a support line for assistance with software or hardware, it doesn't matter where that support technician is physically sitting, be it a cubicle in a, you know, a big cubicle farm in a big office building, or if they're sitting in an RV, so long as they've got a good phone connection and good internet connection, they can help you out with your problems. So think creatively, especially if you're in the IT field, there are a lot of opportunities for remote work. So I just wanted to review that one more time. And we're going to start talking about other careers because I've got, I've actually got a friend who's a traveling nurse. I've met traveling nurses over the years who are all full-time RVers. They get to travel to places, stay for a couple of months, work, and then move on and take the next contract in another place. And they plan it based on uh, the seasons. So that's a pretty cool way to go. All right. So like I said, what do I really need to work remote uh, from the road? An internet connection, a good phone connection and a laptop and for a lot of for a lot of jobs that's all you need